Hey everyone! So today I am going to be sewing up the Sew a Little Seam Marin suit and I have this beautiful cactus for the top and these fun polka dots for the bottom. Um, so I'm doing a bikini top with um, some bottoms and I'm going to be using my serger and swimsuit lining. So I'm going to go ahead, this is my back piece, and you can see that I have the shoulders um, at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my front piece right sides together, matching those shoulders. And I'll put clips just to hold it, swim is pretty slippery. And then I'm going to repeat the same process for the lining. Now we're going to go ahead and sew those shoulder seams together. I use my serger. Um, you can use your standard machine with a stretch stitch. I'm going to do it for the lining and as well as the main. Just those shoulder seams. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut all of the threads. So at this time we are also going to sew the side seams together of our main and our lining. So that was the main and I'm going to do the exact same thing right sides together with the lining. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, cut everything apart. Alright, so now we have, um, it kind of looks like a top. It's a little bit floppy because there's no elastic. So we're going to um, flip this, the main right sides, out. And we're going to keep the lining wrong side so the seam sides out so we when we put them together all of the seams will be hidden so i'm going to slip my lining into my main lining up those shoulder seams and clipping kind of finagling it lining up those side seams as well and clipping Same thing on the other side, shoulder seams, line up and clip. And then that side seam. Line up and clip. So this puts us at the position where we're ready to put our elastic in. So for elastic, I use um, just clear elastic since I don't do much chlorine swimming. I swim mostly in the lake. So I am going to show you how I do that. All right, so I buy my clear elastic on a spool. And for easy installation on my serger, I take my clear elastic, um, thread it up through my thread tree. So where that left needle is, I thread it through the thread tree, bring it down to the front, and my presser foot has a little hole at the front that I um, will thread my elastic through. So I thread it through and then swipe it to the back here. You can kind of see that. And um, so one thing that's really important when installing clear elastic, especially for me, is that I turn off my knife. So I disengage my knife. So there's a little button or switch right down here that I just um, turn my knife, turn my wheel so that my knife is all the way down. And then I just hit that switch 
so that the knife doesn't pop up, which will decrease your chances of cutting into your clear elastic. So this pattern does include elastic measurements, but I find this method just a little bit easier um, and a little bit more customizable. So what I do is you're gonna stitch on the lining. So I always start at the back of my garment, tuck that up and under. And I'm actually going to toss a few more clips in here to hold the lining to the main. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple stitches to secure the elastic to the garment. So now that I can see that it's stitched on, I'm going to take my elastic and just provide a slight tension upwards. So this will um, give it that little bit of um, tension that it needs. So it's not gonna like flop open on you, but not too much and you don't necessarily have to worry about clipping and pinning all the way. So I'm just gonna provide light upwards pressure and so all the way back to my start point. you can see how the elastic is stitched onto that so then when you fold it over it will be hidden and then we'll top stitch but first I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same process on both arm size All right, so now you can see that I have all the elastics clipped down towards the inside. So now we're gonna take it over to my cover stitch and stitch all of it down. Of course, if you don't have a cover stitch, you may use your standard machine. You'll just wanna make sure that you use a zigzag stitch or a triple stitch to provide the stretch and you're not gonna pop seams. So now I'm gonna bring the swimsuit over and we're just going to stitch those elastics down. So I'm using white thread because that's what's on my machine and I think it would be a cool accent. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch all my elastic down.
And then one of my favorite tools in sewing is this little tool called That Purple Thing, and I got it on Amazon. So you can see that the elastic is stitched down on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that exact same process on both of the arms. So we have arm one done. And now I'm going to repeat for arm two. So our swim top is almost done. Oops. And um, we just need to put the bottom elastic in. So one thing I do a little bit differently with the bottom elastic for the bikini is I do cut it per the pattern's recommendations. For this, I um, mark my center back and my center front, and then mark the center of the elastic. The center of the elastic will go at the center front, and so I'm going to go ahead and just sew around. Make sure to disengage your knife if you have re-engaged it. So just making sure that your elastic gets all the way under so that it catches on the needles. There we go. So now I'm just going to lightly stretch the elastic. So that you're not falling out the bottom of your swimsuit. So now you can kind of see the elastic is in there. So now I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the arms and the neck and just fold it over and clip it in place like so. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of that and I'll meet you over at the serger. So you can see that I've now folded all the elastic towards the inside. So now we're just going to go ahead and stitch it down like we did previously. So unfortunately my memory card ended up being full, however you can see that I top stitched 
the elastic all the way around the bottom in this photo. So now we're going to go ahead and sew up the bottoms. For these, I am using this polka dot swim fabric. These are the fronts, so I'm going to go ahead and just line up my side seams. So this is the front with my back, like so. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And for the crotch, I'm going to go ahead and sew all of those. So now that those are done, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the lining. So I use this nude lining. So now that the lining is also done, we're going to leave the lining wrong sides out and turn our main right sides out like this. So then, just like we did with the top, we're going to slip the lining into the bottoms wrong sides together and clip as needed. So now that we have that, I'm going to clip the crotch just quickly. We're going to do the exact same elastic process that we did for the neck and the arms on the top. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the legs. So one thing about sewing the legs is that you're going to want to start going up the front of the suit bottoms first and then using just very, very light tension. And then as we get towards the back, you're going to want to um, apply just slightly more pressure, nothing so that it puckers, um, but that will help provide the best fit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So as we're coming to the back, I'm going to provide just slightly more pressure to provide a nice fit. And this just helps make sure that you're not going to fall out of your suit. So 
you can see how the elastic is in there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other leg. So now that the elastic is installed all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and clip the elastic towards the inside, all around the leg. Alright, so now that we have the legs all clipped up, I'm going to sew on the waistband. So you can see that I have my elastic all clipped in. I did quarter this one um, just because. So I'm going to go ahead and serge this on. So this elastic should fit pretty well um, without having to stretch much. But just making sure that everything lines up nicely. Alright, so now that I have all of my elastic turned towards the inside, I'm just going to go ahead and stitch all of it down and then our bottoms will be done. Alright, so our swimsuit is finished. I'm gonna go put it on so y'all can see what it looks like. <laughs> 